Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years. Hi, I'm Cherry Johnson with Watauga County Arts Council. Today I have one of our many, many, many partners with me. Uh, this is Brooke Bauer. She's with the Turchin Center. Uh, the Arts Council strongly believes in partnerships and relationships all through the community, and we have quite a few of them. This is a very, um, not to date anybody, but this is a very old partnership. It dates back yes. to Turchin's origins. Absolutely. Uh, as a matter of fact, it predates Turchin, really. Mm -hmm. It does. Uh, because we've been good friends with, with your, uh, you were even working with Catherine Smith, I guess, yes. before it became Turchin. Mm -hmm. And so you and I have worked together for a lot of years. Yes. And uh, her, uh, one of her co-workers is Hank Foreman, who you might know. Uh, and Hank and I have a long history as well. So it's just been a natural relationship. The Arts Council also has a big relationship with the uh, Office of Arts and Cultural Programs with which you're linked um, because of our arts and education programming. Uh, today we're not really talking about arts and education per se, although everything's arts and education. But uh, we're talking more about a different aspect of how we uh, partner with other uh, organizations. And uh, through the Turchin Center, you do so many cool things. First off, let's, let's go back and explain. The Turchin Center is a regional arts center, Correct. right? We are, we are a contemporary arts center, um, but we do focus on regional and local mm -hmm. artists. Mm -hmm. um, we did a study uh, just actually a couple months ago that um, stated we only have, I think our international program is the only is 5% um, of our programming. Wow. And 70% um, is local and regional. That's great. So, That's yes. great. So you're taking what already the talents and the abilities that are already inherent in this area mm -hmm. and just kind of showcasing them. Absolutely. So, so you're doing a, a more exaggerated version of what the Arts Council already has been doing through mm -hmm. the uh, exhibits that we do at the Jones House Community Center. Right. Because we primarily focus on strictly local. Uh, local we define as you have to live in Watauga or an adjoining county for some portion of the year. Mm -hmm. You guys are a little bit broader scope. Right. You know, you cover a bigger area. Yeah. Our, our local, of course, is just in in this area mm -hmm. and then our regional can, extends to the southeast. Uh -huh. um, we also have a national program that we that we work with artists nationally as well. So what's the mission of the Turchin Center? The mission of the Turchin Center is to promote the arts um, and to, to be accessible to all ranges and, and uh, education. Mm -hmm. So we are here to expose um, our, our culture, uh, well our communities to the arts, whether mm -hmm. different levels. So one of our goals is anytime somebody comes into the center, if they know something about art or not, they're still going to find an exhibition within the center right. that that speaks to them on some level. So what she's saying is, is Turchin is for you. Uh, you know, a lot of folks, I think, well, not a lot of folks, you get a lot of people that come to Turchin, mm -hmm. but there are still people out there who are a little bit intimidated by the Absolutely. location or the parking or the right. fact that it's university or you know, right. just the fact that it's a big arts center, you know. Yeah. And I want to break down some of those barriers and make people realize it is there for them. Absolutely. You know? We we are continued. Uh, we continue to stay free, um, mm -hmm. so there is no charge to get in the building. Right. Um, and part of that is because of the parking, because you do have to pay for parking, unfortunately. Right. Um, if you can find paid parking. Not or, that you pay church, you pay exactly. somebody for parking. Somewhere. Right. So yeah. Downtown uh -huh. usually. Uh -huh. um, but you, right now, anywhere in the downtown area, you can park. Um, there are several paid lots down by right. Town Hall. Mm -hmm. um, but if you can find parking on the street, you are perfect. And of course, on Saturdays, you can park anywhere unless yeah. it's a game day, mm -hmm. simply because um, all faculty and staff lots are open. So you can just come in and park any place mm -hmm. you want. Absolutely. And so um, the exhibits that you do range from uh, children's exhibits mm -hmm. to, uh, the, you know, big names from, from other parts of the world, right. you know. And so what's coming up? real soon at church and what can we go see pretty soon well, we've got six brand new shows opening right now um, uh -huh. we we're supposed to open two today um, but we're we're back behind a little bit um, but the two that are opening prior to february 3rd is robert goodnow who uh -huh. was an american expressionist painter um, from the new york, new york area right um, that is going to be a very large show it's going to be a beautiful show mm -hmm. and we won't focus on that one too much because i think there's a few more that that will be a little more interesting um, the Another partnership that we have is the Foreign Languages and Literatures Department. Mm -hmm. um, we are doing an exhibition of the Francophile Senegal. Um, and this is a one month long program that was sponsored by the Fulbright Hayes Scholarship Program. Uh -huh. 
and they sent 12 students out to Senegal over July of 2011, and so this is the culmination of their experience. Oh, So they brought okay. back objects, and so we're going to be doing tours in French and in English, and so that'll be, that kind of goes over the, the international cool. portal. That is really cool. So and I'm assuming you're linking with the public schools as well, so that they yes. can have that opportunity as yes. well. Now, we have um, one of our very own that we're very proud of doing yes. an exhibit that's opening up on the third. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Richard Prisco is a, well, he teaches at the university in mm -hmm. the technology division. He does and he came here for that reason. Yes. But uh, he is a beautiful, beautiful furniture designer. He makes the most incredible stuff out of wood and metal that I've ever seen. He yeah. does. And so the, through the Regional Artist Project Grants, which you've already heard about, uh, Richard was one of our winners this year. And so we helped to fund some of the materials that you will see in this exhibit. Of course, you obviously, they won't look like the materials that Richard purchased because he yeah. ma works magic with them. They are so what amazing. kind of things has he got coming in? He's got some, some pieces of furniture, but yes. he's got a very special twist to this show. It's yes. not just Richard. Um, I won't do the Spanish version because I will butcher it, but the, the translation is father and son. Uh -huh. um, so it is an exhibition with his father who is a painter, an extremely prolific painter. He's quite right. beautiful. Uh -huh. um, so it is a father and son exhibition. His father will have the paintings and all the 2D works on the wall, and he will have the floor space right. with the furniture. Um, he has several benches, end tables, lamps, all functional pieces. Um, the surprise part of this, and hopefully I'm not going to spill the beans on this, but they have asked their son, his, Richard's son to put a piece in as well. So it'll Neat. be a father, son, grandson. That's great. So. Well, you know, that's one thing I was in, in, intrigued to learn about Richard was that he comes from such an artistic mm -hmm. background. And so even though he doesn't do the same kind of art that his father does, that right. that, that gene is in there it is. <laughs> working it is, very strongly. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Richard was telling me, too, that he, of his two children, one of them is musically inclined and mm -hmm. one is visually art inclined, yes. you know. So uh, uh, I think that's kind of nice, too, that the, the, they each take their own version of the gene, if mm -hmm. we want to put it that way, and do something special yeah. with it. You I'm know? looking forward to seeing the show and how it comes together, especially with the son's work as well. Right, right. And so we're uh, hoping that you're going to go check that exhibit out. That will be on the third is the opening night. Yes. And then also you have another special exhibit opening up you were telling me we about. We do. Um, we have not really announced this other than just in our brochures. So you're but, breaking news. Oh, it, is, it is breaking news. <laughs> um, you know, of course, a few months ago we do remember that the Appalachian Culture Museum um, was um, dis dispersed um, mm -hmm. to the to the YSU community as well as our own community. Right. Um, and one of the collections that came to the Turchin Center is the Artine Artinian Self-Portrait Collection. Which, if you don't know that name, this is very much worth your mm -hmm. time to go check out. This man has his own reputation. Oh, yes, he does. Okay. <laughs> and what does he do? Or what did he um, do? He collected, well, he collected art all over the world. Right. Um, the Turchin Center already holds 118 pieces from his music and art collection. Right. Um, so now we hold the Appalachian Culture Museum self-portrait collection of North Carolina artists. Um, so this collection, we have about 267 works um, mm -hmm. that were transferred. Mm -hmm. We're only featuring a 50, um, but these are names that you're gonna, you're gonna recognize. And I don't have permission to say these, but um, uh, let's see, um, Bert Acock is gonna be in the show, oh, yes. Steve Ferguson. Um, Judy Humphrey. Uh -huh. So that, I mean, the list will just artists keep that going. we know. Yes, in other words. Yep. I mean, uh, he collected the the self portraits of artists all across North Carolina, right? Mm -hmm. Well, North Carolina, and he did a separate one in Florida. Oh, he did. But we okay. just have the North Carolina okay. one. So, so he collected all of these self portraits, but the ones they're going to showcase are the ones that are going to strike a chord with you. Yes. Because you're going to know these people, and uh, are you going to? Uh, are those artists going to be present? Do you think? We are inviting them. So hopefully, wonderful. Hopefully they can just they will stand be. by their. Portrait exactly. <laughs> Get a second portrait. Or maybe you so. could run a little matching game and make them stand somewhere else so people could match it up. <laughs> it would be a lot of fun. Now mm -hmm. the third is the first Friday of the month yes. and uh, the Arts Council is also showcasing new work that night as well. Yes. And we, we do a lot of trade-offs with that. Uh, we mm -hmm. send people down the street and they send people back to us. And mm -hmm. so, you know, it works very, very well. I think, you know, several places in town have kind of a standing thing with, with a 
first Friday. I know the Inth yep. Gallery always Inth comes gallery, up with something. The collective as you well. know. So so we'll have that first Friday night uh, thing that you can go and mm -hmm. do, wear a warm coat if it's cold. But go ahead and make sure you go from one place to the other right. and check out the art because it's so worth it. And yeah. you guys have uh, nice crowds, good food, yep, and be beautiful, beautiful artwork. Yeah. We have nice crowds, good food, and beautiful artwork exactly. as well. <laughs> so we just we kind of exchange here. Brooke, I'm always so excited to hear of what the Turchin's got going down the street. I get so few chances to go down and check it out. out. But I really, really I want to encourage folks to, to do take advantage of that. You know, having a regional arts center right here in our own town is a big mm -hmm. deal. Uh, we don't have to travel to Raleigh to the North Carolina Museum of Art, although that's a very worthwhile trip to it take. But, uh, but if you don't have the time to do that, you can get a little taste of something kind of similar here mm -hmm. in Watauga County. Absolutely. So uh, you work so hard with this. and you, Now, your job is the assistant curator, yes, right? Yes, the assistant curator. Okay, what does an assistant curator do? I get to design uh, most of the exhibitions. I get to do all the research. I get to be an artist liaison um, and just do all of the nuts and bolts. Um, and you get to travel. Advertise. Yes, I do. Why do you get to travel? What, what? Um, just helping Hank. Of course, you know, Hank mm -hmm. can't do it all. Um, so I Although am, he's pretty good. He is. He's is very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I actually am the, the person that keeps Hank together and, and all the details. That is so. a task. So I get to go on most of the trips so that we can um, get the artist's information and get the photographs and, and figure out. So frequently so. I'll communicate with Brooke and I'll hear, well, I'm in so-and-so or I'm on my way to such-and-such. <laughs> and such, and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Love to travel. You got the right job. Yes, I do. <laughs> Well, uh, come to the Turchin Center. What are the hours of the Turchin Center? Right now, we are Monday through, or, I'm sorry, we are closed Sunday and Monday, mm -hmm. um, Tuesday through Thursday, and Saturday is 10 to 6, mm -hmm. and Friday is 12 to 8. Okay. So there's lots and lots of opportunities to check them out. Make yeah. sure that you make this a part of your regular arts uh, track um, encounters all through the month and all through your lifetime, really. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a website, we and do. that is? www.tcva.org for Turchin Center Visual Arts, so tcva.org. And then, of course, always you can go to our website, mm -hmm. link over to them, and vice Absolutely. versa. So uh, that's what partners do. Exactly. So uh, thank you, Brooke, for sharing some of the upcoming excitement with You're us. You're welcome. Thank we're you looking for forward me. to it. We'll get you back to talk about some of these other exhibits later Wonderful. on. Wonderful. So stay in touch with us and stay in touch with the Turchin. Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years.